This is the same Reese Witherspoon that got nominated for an Oscar last year, right? Hot Pursuit stars Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara as a cop in her convict on the run and trying to figure out who is behind the murder of an important witness while staying out of the line of fire themselves. Not exactly a new premise, but who really cares, right? I mean, the goal here is to get Reese and Sofia together for some comic misunderstanding and mischief as the audience rolls at their hilarity and comedic chemistry. Only one problem, they don't have any. Actually, sorry, I wish that were the only problem. Truth is, this movie is full of them, mostly stemming from the fact that none of this movie feels the slightest bit authentic. And I take that back. During the credits, they show some outtakes from the shooting of the movie. Those actually felt real and were genuinely funny. So let's go ahead and call those the best thing, because they stood in stark contrast to the falseness of the 90 minutes that preceded them. Oh look, that's what they look like when they're having fun together. So why wasn't that kind of fun in the actual movie? I just didn't buy a single part of this film. I didn't buy the script, I didn't buy the plot, I didn't buy the situations they were in, and I didn't buy the characters, which is disappointing considering Reese is usually good at pulling me into the reality of a moment. But even she seems strangely off her game. How can she go from such a deep and honest role like last year's Wild into something like this where it feels like she's a total cardboard cutout? Maybe it's just hard to act against Sophia, who, by the way, is great in Modern Family, but here just feels like she keeps cramming her palm against the funny button and nothing happens, so the desired humor turns to awkward desperation. I mean, there's only so many accent jokes an actress can do, right? The whole thing just feels like some sort of SNL sketch that not only doesn't work, but lasts for the entire 90 minutes of the show. Ah, but at least some of it's funny, right? Not really. I honestly don't remember a single laugh before the end credits, other than a couple uncomfortable ones when the movie tried its hand at some sort of awkward version of being a PG-13 raunch comedy. Seriously, if you're in the mood for this kind of movie, save a few bucks and just go rent the heat again. It's ten times as good, and you might actually laugh a few times. Overall, Hot Pursuit is a misfire on every level. It's not funny, the leads don't play well together, and worst of all, it all just feels like a badly contrived skit. It's only because of a few laughs during the outtakes and out of respect for Reese Witherspoon that this manages to escape custody with a generous D. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. Stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. First, go ahead and click the little I that's up in this corner. Yeah, you can click it right now. I'll still be here. When you do, you're going to see links to other recent reviews, the Your Movie Friend website, and a chance to send a buck or two my way if you liked this review. You can also click over here to subscribe to the channel as well, so you don't miss any new reviews. And now on to this review's best ever challenge, where you name the best movie ever in a particular category, and then also try to identify my choice. Here's the question. What is the best female buddy comedy movie ever? I'm going with the one that has a sequel coming out very, very soon. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and the first person to guess mine does get a point. Thanks, and here's your five extra seconds to hit the subscribe button.